Hi, I'm Madhu Vasudevan from the AWS by Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS by Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS certified solutions architect. We acknowledge and thank the official AWS documentation material which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. This time, we will walk you through a hands-on lab on create a hello world lambda function from blueprint, manually invoke the lambda function using sample event data, review your output metrics, delete all created resources. The estimated cost for doing this hands-on is no charge as lambda function is free tier eligible. The prerequisite AWS skill level required is that of a beginner with a general understanding of AWS Lambda concepts. To set up a free tier eligible AWS account and a user with sufficient permissions, please check out our video on Create Admin User. To begin, fire up a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and head to aws.amazon.com. Sign in to the AWS Management Console as a user with administrator credentials. In this tutorial, we will learn the basics of running code on AWS Lambda without provisioning or managing servers. We will walk through how to create a Hello World Lambda function using the AWS Lambda console. We will then show you how to manually invoke the Lambda function using sample event data and review your output metrics. To start, let's enter the Lambda console. In the AWS Lambda console, select Create a Function. The console shows this page only if you do not have any Lambda function created. If you have created functions already, you will see the Lambda Functions page. On the list page, choose Create a Function to go to the Create Function page. Blueprints provide example code to do some minimal processing. Most blueprints process events from specific event sources such as Amazon S3, DynamoDB or a custom application. Select Blueprint. In the filter box, type in hello-world-python and select the Hello World Python Blueprint. Then click on Configure. A Lambda function consists of code you provide, associated dependencies and configuration. The configuration information you provide includes the compute resources you want to allocate, for example memory, execution timeout, and an IAM role that AWS Lambda can assume to execute your Lambda function on your behalf. You will now enter basic information about your Lambda function. Under basic information pane, for name, you can name your Lambda function. For this tutorial, let's just enter hello-world-python. For role, you will create an IAM role. 
referred as the execution role with the necessary permissions that AWS Lambda can assume to invoke your Lambda function on your behalf. Select Create New Role from Template. For role name, type in Lambda underscore basic underscore execution. Lambda function code. In this section, you can review the example code authored in Python. Go to the bottom of the page and select create function. After the function is created, Scroll down to Basic Settings and click on Edit. Runtime. Currently, you can author your Lambda function code in Java, Node.js, C Sharp, Go, Python, etc. For this tutorial, leave it at the default 3.7. Python 3.7. For handler, you can specify a method or function in your code where AWS Lambda can begin executing your code. AWS Lambda provides event data as input to this handler, which processes the event. In this example, Lambda identifies this from the code sample and this should be pre-populated with Lambda underscore function dot lambda underscore handler. Scroll down to configure your memory and timeout settings. For this hands-on session, leave the default lambda function configuration values. You can click on save or even cancel. Since we did not edit anything, next we will invoke the Lambda function and verify results. The console shows the Hello World Python Lambda function. You can now test the function and verify results and review the logs. Select Configure Test Event from the drop-down menu called Select a Test Event. The editor pops up to enter an event to test your function. Choose Hello World from the Sample Event Template list from the Input Test Event page. Type in an event name like Hello World Event. You can change the values in the sample JSON, but don't change the event structure. For this session, replace value 1 with Hello World. Select Create. Click on test to test the function. Upon successful execution, view the results in the console. The execution results section verifies that the execution succeeded. The summary section shows the key information reported in the log output. The log output section will show the logs generated by the Lambda function execution. Click on Click Here to view the CloudWatch log group.
click on the latest log stream to see log details. Next, we will monitor the metrics. So return to the Lambda console. AWS Lambda automatically monitors Lambda functions and reports metrics through Amazon CloudWatch. To help you monitor your code as it executes, Lambda automatically tracks the number of requests, the latency per request, and the number of requests resulting in an error and publishes the associated metrics. Invoke the Lambda function a few more times by repeatedly clicking the Test button. This will generate the metrics that can be viewed in the next step. You may have to wait a few minutes for the metrics to be generated by CloudWatch. Scroll down and select Monitoring to view the results. Scroll down to view the metrics for your Lambda function. Lambda metrics are reported through Amazon CloudWatch and you can leverage these metrics to set custom alarms. The monitoring tab will show seven CloudWatch metrics. Invocations, duration, error count and success rate, throttles, async delivery failures, iterator age and concurrent executions. With AWS Lambda, you pay for what you use. After you hit your AWS Lambda free tier limit, you are charged based on the number of requests for your function, the invocation count, and the time your code executes for. That's the invocation duration. It's cleanup time now. If you are done working with the example function, delete it. You can also delete the execution role that the console created and the log group that stores the function's logs. To delete a Lambda function, open the Lambda console, the functions page, choose function, Choose the function you want to delete. Under Actions, choose Delete Function. Choose Delete. You have deleted the Lambda function. To delete the Log Group, open the Log Group page. Open the Log Groups page in the Amazon CloudWatch console. Choose the function's log group. Choose actions and then choose delete log group. Choose yes, delete. You have deleted the function's log group. To delete the execution role that was created by Lambda for your Lambda function, Open the AWS Identity and Access Management Console. And open the Roles page.
scroll down and choose the functions role my function role or lambda basic execution choose delete role choose yes delete you can automate the creation and cleanup of functions, roles, and log groups with the AWS CloudFormation and the AWS CLI. So now you have cleaned up all the resources that got created when you experimented with this AWS Lambda function. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up to this video to encourage us. Share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, Subscribe to this channel AWS by doing and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Write in a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Happy cloud computing and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by doing team.